press conference. We are previewing the semi-final. This will be the second semi-final of the week, uh, which will take place on Sunday at the Orlando Stadium. Kickoff is at 1500 hours. Orlando Pirates, the defending champions, will be at home to Stellenbosch FC. And I'm joined by Coach Jose Riviero, just to preview uh, that, uh, that fixture. Coach, um, you take a 2-1 lead uh, into the second leg. Uh, I had you immediately after the match to say that you know that will have no bearing on, on your approach. Uh, but just how are you feeling? Obviously, you've just come back from two uh, defeats uh, in, in other competitions. You know, is this an opportunity you know to get back to winning ways and uh, move a step closer to defending the title? Yes, thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, yes, uh, it's an excellent opportunity to to come back to the winning track. First of all, uh, that's usually the intention will be to win the match, uh, not thinking so much in the the advantage the advantage that we already have, which is a, is a fact. We are we are leading to one, but uh, we know Stellenbosch uh, very well. Uh, we have to suffer them many times already and we know what's coming, what kind of game. So yeah, ready again to to offer a good fight and, and, and yeah, for sure we're gonna get a good result. Thank you coach. Let's take questions from the floor. I'm looking at hands. Let's start here in the middle. Okay. The two ladies there. So refreshing. Hi, Coach. Hello. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. Um, Coach, after the game yesterday, you spoke about. Uh, the sorry, sorry, just we'll see what just your name and, and uh, organization. Um, after your encounter yesterday, you spoke about how you seem to have misinterpreted what you needed to do on the field. What are you looking to do in terms of your preparations ahead of Sunday to ensure that there is no misinterpretation against the No, it's, it's, I mean, this is not frequent, uh, what happened yesterday, uh, thanks God. Uh, we, used to, we used to have the initiative in the games, it's not, a, it's not one of our deficits. Yesterday we, we just couldn't, uh, we couldn't be ourselves early in the game uh, in order to, to, to take the initiative and try to, to develop our game plan. Uh, so I'm not I'm not worried about that. I know the boys will. We will together analyze uh, what happened yesterday in order to be ready for the next one because it's a. Uh, it's uh, again a huge opportunity for us to to find ourselves in a final, one more time. And the guys really really want this one. We are defending the title. We know about the importance of the game. Um, this is a, this is a game, <laughs> and yesterday. Like I said yesterday, and I will repeat myself today, in the beginning we, we were not good enough. Uh, we show, I think we already show uh, a huge personality. It's not easy to, to perform uh, as we did in the first half and come back uh, with all the problems that we faced there in the, in the first 45 minutes and come back in the second half the way that the guys did it. It tells a lot about the personality of our players, the, the preparation of our players, and uh, we just have to continue the same way on Sunday, and that's the way that they normally do it. So it's not a concern for us in this moment. Thank you, Coach. Next question. Good morning, Coach. Lenovo Vatapan with ABC as well. Uh, following up from Zasiba's question, I just want to take uh, Coach Vatapan's piece about the difference in cup games and league games. What positives are you taking from yesterday's game? And a lot has been said about the Buccaneers being the closest team to challenge London Sundowns and your view from yesterday. Um, generally about that, how you feel about that comparison? And um, yeah, just going into the weekend, how you feel about that? The difference between the, the cup games and the, and the league games is it's, it's, it's obvious, it's clear, it's, uh, there's, it's Sunday is Sunday, there's nothing else after Sunday for one of the teams, for one of us in that competition. So 
we, we, we go forward or we go home. Uh, that's, that's the thing. So that changed the approaches, changed everything. Stellenbosch is not coming to Orlando to, to play for three points or play for one point. He's coming to, to go to one final or not. They have 90 minutes to do it. So we are leading to one. Are they going to start uh, pressing high and chasing one goal? Or are they going to take time in the game or try to, to keep the nil-nil as long as possible to have their chances in the second half? Is a strategy? Uh, different strategies uh, are going to be seen on, on Sunday for sure on, on the game. For us, like I said, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a game that we want to win. Even though we are leading, we're not, not thinking about the speculating or play a nil-nil game. We want, to, we want to really win the game because uh, it's something that we, we need. And uh, about what was about yesterday? Sorry. Uh, he was talking about you, you being closest to ah, the middle of the Sunday. No, not not. Uh, we are, we are Orlando Pirates. Where where do you want to rank us? Uh, we have to fight for every title. We have to uh, challenge. We need to be challenged as well for our opponent. This is a normal thing. Uh, we need uh, uh, we need to accept that role. And yesterday we showed that that uh, we are capable to to put every team in troubles, not only Santos. We're not going to, yesterday we were not playing for the title. We're going to play for the title against Amazulu soon, against Polokwane City after that, against Cape Town Spurs. And those are the places where we, we have to consistently collect points. Against Sundowns is a, is a fantastic game that we will play at least two times per season, hopefully more times, because it's a good spectacle, it's a good product for the league, it's an emotional game, it's a game with, uh, <laughs> with uh, <laughs> excellent players on the field playing their best. So, uh, But in the end, it's three points. There's a lot of things around the game, but it's three points. We have to go to the next three points after now our time in Mentien and later in the Cup. And that's where you, you can be uh, a serious contender to fight for the title. It's not in the direct duels where you decide the leagues usually. Yeah? There can be exceptions as well. So, like I said, yesterday we showed that we are capable to, to put in troubles, in serious troubles to, to each and every team, and, and Sundowns is not an exception. Thank you. Let's take the next question. Benjamin, I think. Coach, and Coach Pedro Soka Laduma, I know this question bothers you because I like asking that about uh, rotation of players or changing of the squads per game. Uh, I look at the games that you did very well and you won. You were playing with a specific face 11 and it starts with like when you beat Royal AM, you beat Skukune, then you beat Sterling Bosch as well. But every time you seem to change and bring in new players, it seems like the coordination or the winning uh, formula gets broken. Have you finally found your first 11 of the top 20 to say, if I go with this one, then I know it's already bothering you, but just for a question, have you found like the first 11 to say, if I go this one, then if it's not broken, why mend it? <laughs> It's a podcast more than a question, eh? It's, uh, <laughs> what, what is the question? If I found my star 11? Yes, like a concrete one. <laughs> I'll, I'll do my best again. Uh, <laughs> it's not about, look, if, if now I ask you the best star 11 in Orlando Pirates, yes probably is not going to be so different, right, within, within this group, if we think about the best players, right? But I'm, I'm navigating with information that you don't have when I decide who is going to play or not. Do you understand that part? OK? And uh, the, the best players that we can have in our mind may be are not the players that fit the best for every occasion, for every game, right? Because of the schedule, because of the type of game we're going to play. And that's part of our job, okay? 
you will always evaluate that part of the job with the results. We win, it's fine, we don't, we made a mistake, right? The ball hits the post, we made a mistake. We got a penalty, we made a, so, all right, <laughs> fine, but is, is, our job is not select the best study level in the way that you, you try to, to pose the picture. It's a different thing. So the, 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 the season is long, the moments of the players are different. Uh, maybe somebody didn't play yesterday and it's because was sick and you don't know. So just, just uh, try to evaluate what happened yesterday on the field. Every player who is playing our games is Orlando Pir Pirates player. We're not playing players from other teams, you know what I mean? So there's no, there's no rotations, there, there's moments in the schedule. We play in Botswana Sunday, we have to play Sundowns Wednesday, we have to play Sunday Stellenbosch, we have to play Friday uh, Juaneng again. So we cannot dream about play the same study 11 in each and every game. It's simple. So you have to make a plan as good as possible, be strateg strategic in your approach, and, and that's it. I don't know if I managed to answer your question, but Thank that's... You. Today you were very excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's move on to Carago. Okay, while we get the mic, let's go to Kamu. Buenos dias. Afternoon, Coach. Um, coach, your players' performance. Do you feel that they're taking the foot off the pedal a bit? Because I'm looking at no. some of the games no. that you have played. There are, there are games where you scored like five. There are games where you scored like four. So do you think in some of those defeats, your, your players, uh, uh, in terms of performance, they're taking the foot off the pedal? It's football. I mean, uh, in the quarterfinals, we beat we beat Sekukune five nil. Fine, one nil. They miss a penalty. Few minutes later, we score one goal. We open the door, and then suddenly everybody everything is going to the net. Five five nil. Excellent performance. Why? Because it's five nil. One nil. They miss a penalty. Royal AM. We played a fantastic game against Royal AM. 30 minutes, excellent football. Suddenly we found ourselves, which minute? 87, 2-1. They score 2-1. We should be leading 5-0, it's 2-1. It's, it's a game. Uh, you put the focus in the final result. We try to analyze, obviously it's our job, uh, deeper what's happening. Yesterday, uh, it, something that for sure didn't happen yesterday is that our players how do you say they, they, the foot off the pedal? No, it, what they did in the second half is not possible if if if, if your foot is not on the pedal. <laughs> the Ninety minutes. What happened in the first half? We faced an excellent team, <laughs> a team that played with determination in the pressing, that forced us to make a lot of mistakes. We lost nine balls in a row before the penalty. Nine possessions with less than three, four passes in that possession. Count it. And it's not because our players are not with the foot on the pedal. It's because the yellow ones were pressing as hell. Uh, you know, the motion, the beginning of the game, we were not, you know, accurate. Uh, they know which players they need to fall in those first minutes of the game. and. It's a, it's a difficult thing, and I cannot tell everything I would like to say now, but no, they are, they are on task. And you know, I know it because I'm, I'm working with them every day. So I know when they are on task and when they are not. And they are, they really are. But it's not that easy that you start the game and you know, it's difficult, but we are improving. Get, we will get right. Thank you, Carabo. Uh, to be honest, coach, you've got a buffet of beautiful players to choose from. Do you, do you 
sometimes get confused in regards to which one to pick and is it a, a good heading to have? I mean, yesterday we see Kumbudi coming in for a cameo, you know, he's walking on water in regards to his performance. Mm -hmm. do, you, do, you, do you get confused as to who to pick, which, or what are the little details in regards to choosing your best 11? Oof, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's too long. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, if I have to really tell you, you know, all the things that they, they are all good. I'm getting confused. Like I said, if we lose, probably <laughs> we can say that, yeah, the coach made a couple of mistakes. But I could probably do the same mistakes when we win. But we win, so we don't go there. We go to the next. Let's wait for the next. So obviously we, we all can make mistakes in this business. If I say, no, I don't make, <coughs> I'm not making mistakes, I will sound like stupid, you know, and it's not the case, trust me. So we try to minimize the mistakes in the decisions that we make and the way that we plan. The same with like the players when they are going to the field. We try to minimize the mistakes, understanding that football is a game of mistakes. It's a game of mistakes. We go 60 times to the box, we score one, two, we are not playing handball or basketball that usually the ball finish there in the basket or in the net. This is football. It's a game of mistake. Basically because we play with the feet. We don't play with our hands. It's very difficult to be precise. And for the coaches it's the same. Eleven players in a very big space with a lot of things around, a lot of games. So it's normal to make mistakes. Do you want me to say that I make mistakes? Yes, of course I do. Like everybody else in the league. It's, I'm not exceptional. But uh, not because we get confused with the amount of talent that we have and the amount of players. No. No, because like the result used to say who made more mistakes or less mistakes. Let's put it in this way. I'm okay. talking too much today, yeah? <laughs> no, no, very, very good. Uh, Siasana. Sunday Sun. Sunday World. Um, coach, uh, Stan Bosch just um, parted ways with, with one of their key players in, in, um, in Tesla. Um, could that be an advantage for you guys? And um, whether or not does, does, does that have any form of influence in how you have initially planned or how you're going to approach the game on Sunday? You know, that nothing is going to change for us in Tetua. We know in Tetua and what is he capable to do, but for sure there's going to be somebody who's going to try to prove that he has the level to, to, to play in that position, play for Stellenbosch and be the next in Tetua going somewhere else. Or, in, you know, it, nobody is... Uh, every, we all have replacements, so they're going to play with 11 players for us. In terms of approaches, it's going to be the same. Uh, let's come here to Lorenz. Big Bisky Times. Um, coach, since you were hired to Tesla, you never lost um, a domestic cup uh, game since you arrived. Um, is there anything that you're doing different? Like, or is it the players just switched on for these type of games? Um, yeah, we we do a pretty much the same. Obviously, approaching the games is a bit different in the knockout games. We, you play one leg or two legs. Those uh, those are different details. Uh, no, for for whatever reason we we so far and, and hopefully we can continue the the record. We we we've been very competitive in this type of games and. And that's why did you probably will not find uh, in the past at least uh, our team uh, looking a bit relaxed in these type of games. And that's why we used to take the initiative, we used to take the lead. Uh, was not the case in the in the first leg with Estelemos. We have to turn around. Uh, but we show a, a big personality in this type of game so far in semifinals against big teams in finals as well. And that's a good thing for the team. is a is a is a good capital for the future. And uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, for whatever reason, somehow we feel comfortable in these scenarios. And the fans also, which is an important part for us, 
in this type of games they also they are always behind and pushing and and um, yeah the ambition to to be in this type of games in the big finals is is also one thing that is playing a role in this type of games okay i will take the last one just looking for new hands but i you've already asked i was looking to see okay from the old hands vanilla was first so let's give vanilla the opportunity Okay. Um, Coach, um, your third game against Stellan Bosch um, this season, um, a lot of analysis has taken place between um, yourself and themselves. Um, but I'm looking at, I think they've lost four of the last five matches. Mm. Um, they're also struggling to score goals. Uh, there's been three red cards in all those games. Um, how much more of this has got a bearing on how you are preparing? Um, for them, um, and I know you are coaching professionals, maybe, but maybe in terms of guarding against complacency from them, looking at, at the kind of opposition that has got all these challenges, and if you look at the players that they've lost through these red cards as well. Yeah, for us, is it we coming from two defeats, so if somebody is relaxed, is in is in the wrong place. It doesn't matter who is coming on Sunday, you know. It's, it's about us more than ever. We need to turn the situation. We need to show, uh, like I said, what we what we did in the second half yesterday already. That personality to say, okay, things are looking difficult, but here we are. And Sunday is gonna be the same. Things are looking difficult, but here we are. And we're going to offer a, a good fight for sure. Them, if they are suffering, it, it's, 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 I think the, 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 the moment of Stellenbosch, it's somehow it's uh, logical, in my opinion, and it's related with the, with uh, the rumors and the window transfer and the, the, the possibility to sign players, even though we are in the seventh fixture of the league and stuff like that. So it can happen, but uh, they are well coached. I think they have a, they have a good staff there. That for sure they will they will put the the team again in the in the right track. But uh, our our um, obligation is make sure that they do it after Sunday, not on Sunday. Okay, thank you very much, coach. We'll end here. All the best for Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Muchas gracias.